on this week's show, we see the result of the election for the National Council President. We pay a visit to the philosophical meetings where childhood and violence were discussed. And we follow the symbolic Flavien walk which took place on World Cancer Day. On the 11th of February, the Monégasques selected their National Council, which is the equivalent to the French General Assembly. As is traditional, the new National Councillors took on their duties 11 days later. The new President of the High Assembly was also elected on the same day, and it was no great surprise that Stéphane Valéry won. He is back in a position which he has already held in the past. The Vice President of the National Council, Brigitte Bocon, has already worked at the High Assembly as well, but it's the first time a woman has held this position. Childhood and violence was the theme for a conference organized by the Monaco Philosophical Meetings. The speaker was Boris Cyrilnik. The neuropsychiatrist spoke about the evolution of violence throughout history and the dangers of effective negligence. He also talked about the various types of aggression that can scar children. Charlotte Casiraghi, the president and founder of the Monaco Philosophical Meetings, was present at the conference. You can't disassociate reflection on violence from the very first moments of your life, which are the reflection of our bareness and fragility, and which will stay with us for the rest of our lives in some ways. So children are the image of this fragility, which is just part of man's fate. Funds raised during the evening were given to the Jeune Jécoute Association, whose president is Her Royal Highness the Princess of Hanover. Its aim is to provide support to children and teenagers in the principality. The Flavien Foundation organized a symbolic walk in the principality on World Cancer Day. Around 300 people gathered in the Place du Palais wearing orange. The Flavien Foundation was created in 2014 and bears the name of a little boy who was full of energy but who died of cancer just before his ninth birthday. Since then, his father has continued to fight against the illness by organizing events to raise funds for research. Cette marche là fait permet de rassembler les bonnes volontés, les, les bons cœurs. This walk brings out generosity and kindness. The palace lit in orange, like each time we do an event, including this walk, gives us visibility. It's also an opportunity to speak out in a different way. Here there are mainly adults, but we usually organize events for children. The trot and roll in September, the apéro concert is for adults, but also for children. This is very symbolic, it's for everyone. Everyone. It's an international day. There are people of all ages. We're together for a good cause. C'est une journée internationale. Donc là, il y a petit et grand de 7 à 77 ans. On est là pour la bonne cause. Since its creation, the Flavien Foundation has raised 400,000 euros to help research. This is a walk for hope for those children still fighting against cancer. Every year, the illness affects 1,700 children under the age of 15. Seventy-four dancers from 16 different countries were competing for the Lausanne Prize. The winner was a young star who trained at the Princess Grace Academy. Cher Wagman is 17 and won the 46th edition of the competition, a prize that should really help his career. It's a unique feeling. There was a lot of work. It's good for the school. It's good for Monaco, naturally. And it's really great for this young man who worked very hard. You must bear in mind he has only been training for five years. He started classical dancing one year before coming to us. And this prize rewards four years of very hard work at the academy, and he truly deserves it. Shale Wagman won the Artistic Prize of the Nouria Foundation at the same time, two awards that pay tribute to the excellent teaching at the Princess Grace Academy. Jean-Christophe Maillot, the choreographer and director of the Monte Carlo Ballet, also received an award in Switzerland for the 30 years he has dedicated to the world of dance. Time to go. See you next week.